So the Rincon Gen 2. This is that new product category that a lot of companies are coming out with, the smart ring. So you know they have normally the, the watches that you have to take off and charge every day. This ring lasts over 10 days. So I've been trying out this Rincon Gen 2 for the last couple of weeks. We're gonna go over definitely everything that goes on inside the app. We're gonna go over this nice traveling case and we're gonna go over the ring itself. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now, the first thing that I really like about the Rincon Gen 2 is the charging case. Now, as you can see, the back of the case has the USB type C for charging. This case does actually hold the charge itself and then again, you just sit the ring into the cradle to charge it. But you don't need this that much because I found that this been lasting over 10 days. Now it's only actually advertised to have a seven day battery life, but 10 days. So pretty impressive for this small and lightweight design. Um, all of the really, the magic happens inside the app. So we're gonna go ahead and just dive right into the app to see what is tracking, what type of information is gonna give you. So let's go ahead and go right into the phone. Now this is just for uh, example, this is gonna be September 27th. And I'll give you an idea of what it has on each screen. So on the top left, you have your sleep. Now they give you a, a score from zero to 100. This day I actually got some good sleep, man. Eight, eight, point, eight hours and two minutes. Your activity rating, 99, there are a lot of steps. This was actually in Disney. So, you know, you know, you're doing a lot of walking when you're in Disney. So 2000 steps, it tracks your steps. It also tracks your stress level, your uh, beats per minute on your heart rate, and then the alternates as far as your milliseconds in between heartbeats. And then you have your timeline. But this is really just the baseline of the information it gives you. You can actually click on each tab to go into some more in-depth information. So if I tap on a sleep tab, you'll see it gives me the 91 sleep quality. It gives me my actual sleep duration. And then a lot of different information, time in bed, which uh, efficiency is. And then it actually gives you a graph down here at the bottom that'll show the different stages of sleep you are in throughout the night, which is really valuable. Now, at the bottom here, it also shows that same information in the bar graph. So as you can see here, I spent 19 minutes awake. I spent an hour and 15 minutes in REM sleep, and then uh, five hours and 15 in light sleep, and an hour and 32 in deep sleep. So a lot of this information is very valuable, especially when you track it over the long run. It'll uh, you'll be able to see any variations or uh, outliers in your sleep pattern to let you know if there's something going on with your health. Let's go ahead and hop into some of the other stuff you can check out. So again, if you go into the activity tab, you can see it gives you a, a, a more in-depth breakdown of your activity that day. So uh, on this day, I did 20,000 steps, way over my 6,000 step goal. Again, this was a day at Disney shows you uh, how many calories you burnt that day your standing duration so standing for 14 hours out of that day and the longest stand duration was 190 298 minutes so a lot of very in-depth information here like i could really go all day uh, going into all the details but i just want to go through all the different screens so you can see what type of information is going to track let's go ahead and hop into the next screen so we're going to go into our stress levels and this is really just calculating the, uh, the level of stress put on your heart now stress is actually a good thing you are, you're actually supposed to put some stress on your heart every now and again so as you can see my score right here was a 48 and then it gives you your stress ratios as far as relaxed, normal, medium, and high. It gives you your before sleep stress levels, your during sleep stress levels. And again, another bar graph that will give you that information in a, dish, a different uh, visual format. Hop out of the stress tab, we're going to go into the heartbeat. And here again, it shows you your heart rate throughout the day your average throughout the day, your resting heart rate, and then the range. See the range that day was from as low as 53 up to 101. 
then you get your SpO2 levels, yeah, pretty much your air oxygen levels, which is averaging at 95, and your heart uh, heart rate variability, which is an average of 33, ranging from 12 to 82. Now this is just showing one day, just to keep that in mind. But if we go into the trends tab, it'll show you your seven day average on a lot of these uh, metrics. So as you can see on average, my daily sleep is seven hours and seven minutes. Daily stress score, 43. Activity, 79. Vital, 41. And so on. And as you can see, I'm on September 27th. If I scroll over, you can go through the different days and see how those are calculated and as you can see right here on the last tab is showing that my remaining battery life is 35 percent and that will last four days so like i said on a four charge this has lasted me over 10 days which is three days higher than they advertise which is really my favorite uh part of this because like i said you don't have to worry about continuing to take it off to charge it it's very comfortable you can sleep with it without it you know hindering your sleep at all and that most of the time i'm just forgetting that it's even on so for me my favorite way to track health is through the ring again it's not bulky like having a watch on and especially if you want to track your sleep i think this is the go-to option now these are retailing right now for 279 dollars so right on par with a lot of the other smart rings but the biggest biggest thing that i love about this there's no subscription. So you buy the ring, you download the app, and that's it. No subscription, no monthly fees, just buy the ring and you're done. So if you have any more questions about the Ring Con Gen 2, drop them down in the comment section and I'll be sure to get to them. So I wanna thank y'all for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see y'all in the next video.